Just like a ghost ship, huh? Yes. Do you know how I knew your name was Doc? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I can remember when I was a little boy, my grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouths. She called it shiny. And for a long time, I thought it was just the two of us that had the shine to us. Just like you probably thought you was the only one. But there are other folks, though mostly they don't know it or don't believe it. How long have you been able to do it? Why don't you want to talk about it? I'm not supposed to. Who said you ain't supposed to? Tony. Who's Tony? Tony is a little boy that loves my mom. Is Tony the one that tells you things? Yes. How does he tell you things? It's like I go to sleep and he shows me things. But when I wake up, I can't remember everything. Does your mom and dad know about Tony? Yes. Do they know he tells you things? No, Tony told me never to tell him. Has Tony ever told you anything about this place? About the Overlook Hotel? I don't know. Now think real hard, Doc. Think. Maybe he showed me something. Try to think of what it was. Dralyn? Are you scared of this place? No. Scared of nothing here. It's just that, you know, some places are like people. Some shine and some don't. I guess you could say the Overlook Hotel here has something about it that's like shining. Is there something bad here? Well, you know, Doc, when something happens, it can leave a trace of itself behind. Say, like, if someone burns toast. Well, maybe things that happen leave other kind of traces behind. Not things that anyone can notice, but things that people who shine can see. Just like they can see things that haven't happened yet. Well, sometimes they can see things that happened a long time ago. I think a lot of things happened right here in this particular hotel over the years. And not all of them was good. What about room 237? Room 237? You're scared of room 237, ain't you? No, I ain't. Mr. Allen, what is in room 237? Nothing. There ain't nothing in room 237. But you ain't got no business going in there anyway. So stay out. You understand? Stay out. Mr. Allen, what is in room 237? 